30 miles east of the Canadian border is an area of New York many people simply don't travel too often. That is, of course, unless you're visiting Niagara Falls. Famous for the wings and the bills, Buffalo, New York is this week's location on In True View. I'm Jeff Kraft, and behind these walls is a family-owned company called Evolution Dental Science. Now, the leader has over 30 years' experience in the dental industry, where they've not only evolved, but they thrive today. Come on. So Andy, Darlene, this is a dynamic duo here, but it's also a trio because you got Theo. That's the that's the president of ABS, right? So Theo is there. Thank you very much for sitting down with me. I really appreciate it. You know, I don't get to travel up to Buffalo very often, and you know, the one thing that is sticking out of in, in my eye and my head is that. Buffalo, right here, the bison that's there. Tell me about this. I mean, obviously you guys embrace the Buffalo Bills here, but tell me about how you captured this thing. Well, I wish I could tell you that, you know, we, uh, we captured it, get together with everybody, and we went and hunted it and did uh, that, but that's not the case. <laughs> that's not the case. <laughs> We've always wanted one, uh, obviously being in Buffalo, yeah. and we wanted that to be our symbol. Uh, you know, when people walk through this store, uh, we're very proud to be in Buffalo. This bison basically represents our community and uh, uh, it, it was awesome getting it. It was like, I think something you might know, it's, I think it's called eBay. eBay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You can get anything on so, eBay. You got it on eBay and uh, you know, you can source all kinds of things from eBay. What you can't source is 30 years experience. I mean, you started back in 1993. How did all of this begin? Did you know that this was the industry you wanted to be in and just how did it start? I did. Um, so. I think if you're going to start, I think you have to start with Darlene and my relationship. So uh, that that started when Darlene was 13 and I was 14. Uh, so we were basically grammar school, high school sweethearts. Okay. I came here from Poland. We settled in Buffalo because my uncle owned one of the uh, largest food uh, suppliers called Tops Friendly Markets. Growing up, basically, I was a pretty, uh, I was always entrepreneurial, always had sports card shops, going into my uncle's store and seeing their big warehouse and overlooking everybody working it was kind of like a high for me like wow this is great providing jobs and having that kind of thing so what happened is i came home and i said uh, to darlene at that point i'm like i think we're gonna i think we're gonna be in the dental industry if I'm, i want to be a dentist and she was very supportive always and uh, told my dad and my dad said you know what before you uh, go to any dental school you're going to become a technician because you got to be a good technician to become a great tennis. And um, great advice. It was it was incredible advice, and it came from, you know, someone that understood education and also, uh, you know, uh, the hand touch uh, environment. So I got hired by Dr. Ron Jarvis at the age of 16. I walked downstairs, and um, uh, Lee Culp is down there. So I worked with Lee basically for the first two years, being trained every day by Lee. And, um, you know, I had a lot of different discussions with him and, and I think, uh, you know, there was a time where I asked Lee to do me a business proposal between uh, being a technician and earning 250000 was what I thought we needed to make to live a good life. Okay. And so, and he did both and he showed me on a piece of napkin, which I wish I had, what I needed to do to be both. And so that's where we started and that's how, that's how uh, Evolution Dental got started. We wanted our brands to represent uh, what's happening in the industry. And uh, we saw the evolution of, of dental technology and uh, created the, that, that name. Now, with Evolution Technology, is he a technology savvy guy? Has he always been driven to find, you know, what- Always. Just what always. is the newest and coolest thing? When the iPhone came out, yeah? he insisted on being the person in line getting the first one. 
you know, every time there's new technology, anytime a new machine, a new thing came out that he could advance in the industry, he was like, all right, darling, we're going to do this. We're going to take a loan out. So he's always looking always, to really, when we're going back to the name of the company, always. evolve mm -hmm. the company by em embracing technology mm -hmm. and adopting it. So you've known him since you were 13 years old. What do you feel like his, his biggest quality is that he brings to this industry in general? One, he has a heart of gold. And he is that, that beautiful smile and that round little uh, Polish face he has. <laughs> he's really a sincere person and he cares for people and he is driven to constantly have a wonderful life for his family and he cares very much for his employees and they are our extended family and he loves to change people's lives in the industry and constantly be evolving and making sure that you know we have what we need to give everybody the best smile possible. Now we're going to be doing a tour throughout uh, the facility here, but I want you to really, you know, briefly talk to us about the three divisions. I know there's two labs. You've got uh, Evolution uh, Dental Science. Uh, you've also got Olivia and you've got Evolve, the education platform. Tell me about how these all came about. So Evolve came really from, we created a process that we got the lab uh, back to, in our hands and basically uh, uh, got a little payout to, to start a new chapter in our life. That new chapter became Evolve. We understood that we needed to go more digital. I was exposed to engineers writing softwares, seeing the efficiency, hearing them talk. So at a certain point, um, you know, there's no going back from that. We wanted to create a brand that technicians felt like they was their brand. Like it was somebody that was always in their corner. And we bought 25 licenses of ExoCAD and um, uh, took on Johnny O. He took Joshua under his, under his wing. He calls him his uh, little chicken wing and basically created Josh to become uh, the Exo, ExoCAD expert he is. And we just started creating relationships in the industry that we trusted um, and that we could basically hang our hat on and then basically recommend that these, these brands that we endor uh, endorse will be brands that will stand by you just like they're standing by us. And now today uh, we've created Olivia to represent laboratory side. And as, as, as time progressed, you would see a lot of ladies and see the influence that they have in the industry. And obviously what Darlene has done for our company and we really wanted to represent it and so Olivia is actually my only child that's not in the business so we, we named the business after my daughter that basically isn't didn't want to be in our business <laughs> so 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 somehow we got her in there we work on streamlining our production with Olivia and creating a efficiency factor I think that's what the difference between our diamond trusted laboratory for Heartland is that we're 100% US made here in Buffalo, New York. It, we are planning on opening up locations throughout the country, um, but uh, it will be all basically manufactured uh, in United States. So Darlene, everybody has a role here. Your role here basically from what I understand is HR, but it goes much deeper than that. You're, you're the mom, you're the glue of this entire company. Is, does it feel like a lot of pressure sometimes, or do you just embrace that? You know, I guess a little bit of both. Uh, these people I really care about, and every single day I try to make their work life as best as I can. Making sure that they have food, making sure they have all the drinks that they want. I take care of HR, obviously, and payroll benefits. I take care of hospitality around here. Every Thursday, we serve our whole staff a really nice lunch so we can all get together. Um, I take care of all of our travel arrangements. Um, when we have conferences, I take care of a lot of the arrangements. Just making sure that our whole facility runs as perfect as possible. You know, we're talking about, you know, family. It's got to be 
pretty amazing to have Alex and Josh, the kids, Wonderful. you know, working here every day. Alex is more, he takes care of our social media and he does a great job with that and he really represents us well. And in Joshua, he is our ExoCAD, he is our people person, he goes out, he educates, he educates every day, all day long. And they're so strong at what they do. They're not just in here because, you know, they're family. They actually deserve to be in the positions that, they, that they're in. So my last question for you is I want to talk about your vice president, JJ. We're going to be meeting JJ, but this is probably the first time that I've heard of a, a very successful JP Morgan Chase finance guy moving into the dental industry and being possibly even more successful. How did this introduction happen? Uh, we were out, Darlene, and my best friends, which happened to be my family. And there's this guy up in this uh, fancy little bar hooting and hollering. And he's just having a good old time watching the Sabres game. And I didn't know this, but he's just going out. I'm like, that guy's having a lot more fun than we are. So I just, honestly, I just walked up to him. I tapped him on the shoulder and I said, hey, hi, how are you? I'm Andy, what do you do for a living? And I was looking for a sales salesperson at that time um, and someone that would basically represent our company with a little spirit, a little fun and so on and so forth. And so JJ and I started talking. Um, not only is JJ, you know, super smart in a lot of different areas that, you know, finance and and other different areas that I would say that I wasn't concentrating at that time. But also, there's a lot of, uh, you know, just a lot of uh, loyalty, a lot of friendship. I would say our friendship is stronger than our business relationship. And I think that's what makes the business relationship uh, stronger. We're basically a big family uh, together. I mean, in, in every way, every way, every sense. Now, I've got to meet these guys. They sound fantastic. Where are they at? So Alex, I'm excited to walk around the facility. The facility that you guys have that, uh, that you run is extremely systematic and it all starts where? Uh, yeah, so when a case comes in, everything starts with our acquisition team. Okay. So everyone is in here. Uh, these individuals are responsible for looking at all the data that comes in from our intraoral scans. Um, so we have a team of around eight people here that are in charge of looking at every uh, piece of data. Okay. After they QC the data, it's allowed to go into production. And our design team then starts uh, working on the case. There's around 12 individuals in the other room that are ExoCAD designers that work on every case from crown and bridge to uh, full arch dentistry as well as doing denture designs. Okay. And so after everything is finalized and designed, we then transition into our mill center where we have around 15 mills that I want to show you that are really nice. So we started off just using uh, Armand Gerbach Mills, and we were fortunate enough to uh, meet the guys from VHF who were coming out with chairside mills. And so we have over 15 mills here, all the uh, Armand Gerbach units. We have, we have our VHF units here, and our IMS I cores right there. But what makes our, uh, our lab really unique is our zirconia. So we make our own zirconia. Yeah, and so that's helped keep our cost down and as well as keep our quality controlled. So we're able to scale our business on a material level because we were able to source our own zirconia. And as well as uh, we sell this to our doctors that do our chair side process and they get a discount on that as well. So helping them save money uh, doing chair side dentistry is a yeah, part of it too. Absolutely. So, but after that, we move into finalizing and post-processing of our zirconia and our PMMA. Um, we also are doing 3D printed with Flexera as well as with the new uh, All-NX uh, material by Sprint Ramp. And so our ceramics here will be post-processing those uh, units, staining and glazing everything and putting them in the ovens. Um, but we also, I would like to point out that our 3D printing post-processing is really, really nice. Uh, we're able to make these 3D printed restorations look identical to a patient's smile and the strength of these new materials are super nice. We're really eager to continue to push 3D printed prosthetics, especially for provisionals and getting patients into restorations faster. So 
With that being said, like I want to uh, maybe transition into the Evolve room okay. because the a lot about Evolve. Yeah, the Evolve guys that. are really the like the bread and butter of this business. They've helped grow the industry uh, and our company. So Josh and Tristan are really awesome guys, and we'll go meet them right now. Okay. Oh, I can't wait to meet them. So the introduction between you, JJ, and Andy. We have a joke, half the people in the building are grade school friends of mine, and the other half looks like Andy. So I wanted you to meet, oh, there he is, Tristan. And I've heard so much you about you. Well, there's one more person in the room, Josh, my brother. This is a jaw motion tracking unit. 